What's up, you two? Hope you guys been out there building shit. So, I've got something to admit to you guys. It's been in the works for a minute. I haven't really wanted to talk about it. To be completely honest, I feel a little bit like a quitter up here because I'm gonna move on without completely building a house or building a shop or building anything really. But, at the same time, it just is what makes more sense for me and my family right now. Um, for me to build a shop and build a, a house up here, etc., or even install a mobile home, it just don't make sense financially. What do you think I am? Made of money? Come on. I'm a reseller of junk, guys. But don't get it, Twist. I own all of it. Outright. And debt free. Including the international wrecker, the samurai, and the short boss. But just because I own a ten to $15,000 truck, and a couple of them, doesn't mean that I got a bunch of money all the time in my pockets. And it doesn't mean that that's profit. Because I have to buy them, I have to fix them, I have to eventually sell them. I don't necessarily make a bunch of money, but I sure get to drive some badass trucks. You're a whore if you want to say that, because I have loyalty to none of them. They're all for sale. The more we've looked into things, it just made sense to move to Eastern Washington due to how much things cost. What I can sell my bare land here for, I'm buying two houses over there on an acre with a little arch Quonson hut type building out back way more than I've got here and for basically yeah like I said it what I can sell this place for I can buy that and pay it off and I feel like me and my family will be in a much better position uh, my wife will have a house we won't be living in our RV no more we live in an RV my mother-in-law I've got her set up in an RV all my stuff's in different cargo containers and whatnot We've put a lot of work into this land, doing driveways, doing ditches, getting it draining, getting the mud taken care of and whatnot. Uh, we set up our own power. We set up the well up here. Good clean water. So I shouldn't completely beat myself up. I've accomplished a lot, but it just makes more sense right now in our lives to move on and go somewhere else that we can have more for our money. We can each have a house. I can be building up a shop out back uh, instead of staying here where we're living in RVs and we really don't have the finances to take that next step of, of building a shop, laying concrete, doing a, a double wide or, or whatnot without jeopardizing the land. We don't want to do that. We want to sell it because that's what I do. Buy, sell, trade, make money. So why not sell this just like we did the house? We were able to bubble up in life what we actually own, possessed, being debt free. So we're gonna do the same thing now. So we, we bought these two houses, we're gonna sell the land, we're gonna pay off those two houses, be debt free, but in two houses instead of some RVs. We still will have the RVs, cargo containers, some of the projects uh, that we're gonna be getting rid of. Probably uh, the U-Haul, which was the OG, that's what started, started everything, but time to let her go. What I got to admit to, we bought two houses, guys, up by Spokane, Washington, a little, little tiny town called Lind. And so we're going to be moving out there and starting a new life. We've never been there. My next trip over, I've already taken two trips to the new house, gotten about three vehicles over there already, and uh, set up a couple living rooms. Show you guys some pictures of those. I uh, did a huge dump run, cleaned out the two sheds and also got the backyard cleaned up a little bit filled up a whole u-haul took that to the dump so my next trip over to lynn is going to be taking the tractor on the rollback and so that i can start clearing some sagebrush out back making room for the high cube and uh some of my projects and whatnot back there so hit like uh I'll keep you guys in the loop, but that's kind of why I haven't done a whole bunch of videos lately. It's 
kind of hard to put things together and we've gone through a lot of ups and downs we thought that we were going to get another place we got outbid like the last day uh we thought that we were going to get this other place but it just didn't feel right the location and stuff so now we're getting we uh finally got these two places we've gone through the inspections to this to that it's ours now uh but i just was too emotionally drained to to really talk about it on youtube i'm really not a big talker anyways most of my content is how to's and fixing it's and and working on things and that's what i want to get more focused on is my projects and whatnot not having to worry about what we're going to live in and what we are currently living in and dumping poo tanks and and all the things that go along with rv life i don't have to worry about building the house no more i don't have to worry about any of that i just have to worry about getting my wife set up and comfortable in there so one of the first things that i've been working on is some broken pipes go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to watch my dumb ass figure out how to build fix and create guys just believe in your hands and take on projects and have the confidence to take it apart, check it out, see if you can fix it. I guarantee you'll save a lot of money over paying some other guy that makes 10 times an hour what you do to, to do to work on it. So leave what God gave you guys. Take on some projects, build, fix, create. Till next time, keep building shit.